All right, the first demonstration is going to be demonstrating the jog function. This is what you would use for threading up or positioning. Uh, when you see the rolls turning, and then you've noticed that we've marked the rolls with a colored marker so that you can actually see the rotation of the roll, you will not necessarily see the work rolls turning because uh, this is a backup roll driven mill, and the work rolls will generally only turn when there's a resistance to deformation which would be when you're rolling material through the through the mill itself. So uh, we'll hit the jog function first and you'll see the rolls turning. You'll see the upper roll and the bottom roll turning although the bottom roll is not marked. You will see some movement on the work roll but that's only because the upper roll is touching it right now. Okay, that's the jog function. Next function is going to be just the operation of the mill. And I'll start that. This is, this is variable speed on this particular function. Right now we're going relatively slow. And you'll see the speed change as I turn the speed up on the mill. That's operating at full speed. The mill's running very nicely. Now I'll slow it down. And I'll stop it. Now I can reverse direction 